Now I'm gonna ask Dan Ewing all of your Twitter comments. Lots of you have been getting it. So um, at Melissa Mac XO says, have you played any of the Irish sports since you've been here? No, no, I haven't had a chance to to play them. I've had I had a little a little tap. I think you call, what do you call it? A hit with a, hit? a hurling. Oh, like yeah, you've had a little go. Yeah, it, yeah, yeah, but like not not to the scale I would like. Not to not being able to run around. Yeah. It's in the back of a TV studio, I think. But um, I, I want to. I definitely want to see more. Cool. When I come back, do you play any like Aussie rules, kind of like the GAO football here? Yeah, um, a little bit. I've, it's it's not. I'm from Sydney, so we don't play a lot of it. Okay. Um, despite winning the championship last year, <laughs> um, but we're more of a rugby sort of state. Okay. But, but yeah, that, a couple of the guys on the show on the show, but the shorts are really short. Hey, know, it's listen, just, uh, it's hot. Where yeah, you, are, so you have to wear get, them. Get the like, pins out. Yeah, that's it. Um, at Orla Jackman says, what has been the highlight of your trip to Ireland? Oh, just the people. Like it's yeah. just a. Uh, it's just uh, it's. It's so lovely just to have a, such a friendly nation. There's no Aww. tall poppy syndrome because, you know, you're on TV or blah, blah. It's, it's just like everyone is just so friendly. But if I had to pick a particular uh, place, I'd say Dingle at the moment because I got, actually got the time to slow down and enjoy the yeah. Irish countryside and fungi the dolphin. Dingle's cool. Did you learn any Irish while you were there? And learn any Irish? No, yes. not, not full Irish. No. Can no. I teach you a little bit right now? Hook me up. So if you want to say, I love the people of Ireland, yeah. you say, it's Brawlum. It's Brawlum. Mwinter na Heron. Mwinter? <laughs> Moin Turner Hernum. No. No? <laughs> Winter Naharan. Winter Naharan. No, Moin Turner Naharan. Moin Turner Naharan. Uh, it's Brawlin Winter Naharan. That's great. Thanks for remembering <laughs> that. That's remember. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, we've got another one from at Celine Kane who says, Who has been your favourite co star to perform a scene with? Uh, I think I'd have to say, I'd have to say Lisa for sure, because we've done the, my, as an actor, the best work best work together but uh, the, all the stuff with the boys is just so fun like when we just get to I don't know, <laughs> the, they have to stop us yeah you're always <laughs> we, running we, and we pushing have, each other we have a minute minute and 15 scene that goes for two minutes because we ad lib <laughs> back and forth yeah the scenes with the scenes with, with Steve Nick and uh, and Lincoln are just so cool fun. and we have another one from at Ewing's buddy oh, there yeah. I know. Uh, what is it like playing a river boy on home and away Great fun. We get to, we get to play the best characters on the show. We get the most fun. It's, you do. Uh, we, you get the juiciest story. I can't. I can't. Yeah, you can't complain about the characters we've we've been uh, given the gift to play. At Josie Sutter says, did you go to drama or acting school before auditioning on Home and Away? And if so, for how long? Um, I went to drama school after I did some um, some acting work. So I did a few commercials and a guest role. And then, yeah, then I went back and I went to, to NIDA, which is where Lisa went as well. So it's a, it's nice. It's great little great little drama school. Then just kind of tuned up. It's like any other job. You go to university. You go to college. Amazing. To, yeah. And are you all kind of aiming to get onto Home and Away? Um, I think it's like it's like any job really. I think I, you're lucky in the entertainment industry to have to have any work because it's it's a, it's a, it's not a large country. It's not like the the states as far as that sort of industry goes. Um, so yeah, but it, but it's the best show to get on. Oh, it is. In, in, Australia, it is Australia, in, in Australia, it's the best show to get. So, asked Vicky Slavin says, did you learn any Irish slang? Did I learn any Irish slang? Well, yeah, all that. Come here and your Come man. Come here to me. Your man. man. <laughs> your man. They're my favourites because <laughs> the guys I travel with just say it every, every second word. It's fantastic. Your man. Come here. Um, ask Johnny Morley 369 says, who's your favourite sports team? Uh, my favourite sports team is the the Sydney Kings at home. They're, they're our basketball. B- basketball team. And I played with or against half the guys on that roster. So no way! Yeah. So you're actually quite good at basketball. Oh, yeah, I'm okay. <laughs> oh, oh, my goodness. That's amazing. Well done. <laughs> and we have each, uh, Aoife Woodlock, who says, if you could be any other character for Home and Away, who would it be and why? Um, John Palmer, <laughs> Shane Withington. He's just so funny and what he brings to the role is so great. I don't know if I could be as funny as him, but he's, he's so good and such, such a legend to work with. So yeah, John Palmer. Thank you so much for taking the time to answer all those questions and uh, we've really enjoyed it. Hope you come back soon. I will definitely be back soon. Thank you and Cheers. thank you guys. Thanks a million.